Hi folks, so uh, it's been a couple of days since I last did the video, I've not been out and about at all the last couple of days, uh, sleeping a lot of the time, um, anyway, so uh, just been watching, don't know how I came across this now actually to be quite honest, it was it's like I said, you know, it's funny the way things work on the internet, you know, like when you're watching stuff, especially on YouTube, but not just, I mean, obviously there's more platforms than just YouTube, there are other what sounds out there, but obviously YouTube's the main, the main one sort of thing. Anyway, so, you know, I, I watch a lot of stuff on YouTube, I don't watch TV, I haven't watched TV in over nearly three years now, so like I say, that YouTube is my main source of entertainment and information and so on and so on. Anyway, uh, so with the nature of these things, you're flipping through, trying to find different things or whatever, and you just stumble across stuff, you know what I mean? As you do, when you're going through YouTube, you stumble across things and, you know, it, it preaks your interest for a moment or whatever. And, blah, blah. and so anyway, as I was going through, uh, you know, this, that, and the other, and I come across uh, a couple of things about psoriasis, uh, which, of course, is something that I suffer with. Uh, you know, you might have noticed with my elbows, and again, it does, it, it appears on the elbows, uh, most of the joints, knees, and what have you sort of thing. So, anyway, so like I say, I stumbled across this video about psoriasis, and, and there's loads of them then, do you know what I mean? There's like loads of these different things all about psoriasis and what have you, and like individual ones like me, you know, just Joe Bloggses, Jane Bloggses, whatever, just doing their little thing, uh, you know, about their psoriasis and what have you. And then there's more sort of official kind of looking ones where it's like you hit, you know, doctors talking about it and this, that and the other and, and so on and what have you. Uh, and so, you know, it's all fascinating and obviously, well, I'll say obviously, I always say obviously. It might not be obvious to you, it's obvious to me. Um, but, you know, I, I, I've had my psoriasis uh, since I was about in my 20s, early 20s, about 20 year old onwards. I can't remember specifically when I first noticed it. But I've known about it before that anyway because uh, my sisters have got it, uh, my mum had it, uh, my brother had it as well. Uh, and, and so, you know, I was aware of psoriasis and what it was before it even I, uh, you know, before it came out on me. Um, so I was, you know, fairly well versed in psoriasis and what it is uh, at, even at that point sort of thing but nonetheless you know so what I'm saying is that like you know a lot of the stuff that the people are talking about on there I knew anyway but there are some new studies and there are some new there is some new information out there and just exactly how and as, again as, apparently it is an autoimmune system disease basically your immune system is attacking your um, uh, healthy skin cells which then triggers uh, a rapid response in in the skin cells replacing themselves so as the for whatever reason they don't fully understand it yet they still don't understand why or what triggers it um, but they know that the the certain and again I'm not going to all the technical side but I just watched one video oh, really fascinating really interesting but it goes right into the minutiae the real detail of just exactly which T this T cell doing this and this flipping and the, some of the names I can't even begin to pronounce but anyway all these different names for all these different types of cells and different things that they do and blah, 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 blah. Uh, really all fascinating stuff um, but anyway so so like I say they, you know basically what happens is you're, you're immo oh, ugh, can't speak your autoimmune system attacks um, it's attacking the healthy skin cells, they then die, but then it, that triggers then uh, the body's response to replace the skin cells and, and it goes into overdrive. And so you, you end up with like big patches uh, of dead skin cells and live skin cells all mixed in there together. Uh, and it, it, it you know, and there's different forms of it as well, apparently. There's a different, slightly different forms. Mine is what they call plaques. These 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 white areas and red areas are called plaques, uh, and they form quite thick. Uh, they, it's almost like elephant skin, if you like. It's almost like really really tough, really hard, flaky uh, flakes a lot. Um, anyway, so as I said, I was watching 
these videos and, and it was more about the personal videos, the videos about people's own personal experiences with it. Um, some are quite moving, some are quite, um, uh, you know, it's you know quite powerful to watch some of them and the way they talk and some are quite inspirational. Um, and anyway, so, you know, from watching that and I'm thinking about the fact that I haven't made any videos for a couple of days and kind of been stuck in doors and uh, kind of going into that yeah, self-pity mode, but also, it's not just about self-pity, it's much more than that, it is. Um, you know, it's not a case of like, oh, just pull yourself together. Uh, Doctor, I feel like a pair of curtains, pull yourself together. Sorry, I know, terrible. Um, but anyway, so, uh, but yeah, there is an element of that as well, I'm sort of falling back into that. I've not seen Joanne for a couple of days, I could easily just go around, it's just... I'm doing that isolation thing again. I'm I'm just isolating myself. So I had that great weekend with Joanne and, and in uh, Liverpool and Manchester and what have you. And then I come back and then she has to go home and feed her cats, which is fine. And all that's natural and normal and all the rest of it. But you know the thing is that then I've just fallen into this sort of habit of just then isolating myself and and what have you sort of thing and blah 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 blah. Um. Uh, and then of course that does then start to impact on my depression and so on and so forth so uh, I am sort of getting to that stage again where I'm feeling really negative and really uh, kind of feel like just don't want to do anything kind of just want to curl up into a little ball and not bother um, uh, and I hate being like this I hate I hate being like this I hate myself for being like this but and so you can see it becomes a vicious cycle, do you know what I mean? It's like, you know, you start to dislike yourself, you hate yourself for being this way, and then it makes you feel more depressed, and you just isolate more, and and so on and so on. So, anyway, I think part of, and I, I've, I've probably said this before in other videos, where I think this is almost like a therapy as well, in a way, me doing these videos, and being... You know, I know that this isn't going to get a thousand views. I know this isn't going to get loads of thumbs up. Uh, I know that this isn't going to win me any awards or whatever, do you know what I mean, it's, you know, um, so, you know, at the end of the day, that it's, you know, uh, you know, obviously I want my channel to be successful, I'm not particularly interested in it being, I don't want to be Tweedy Pie, is it, or how you pronounce that guy's handle, um, Tweedy Pie, or whatever, uh, you know, I'm not interested in being, like a famous YouTuber or whatever, do you know what I mean? I, I mean, flipping out, let's face it, my content is never going to win me that kind of a accolade anyway. But, you know, the, the thing, obviously I want it to be mildly successful at least, do you know what I mean? It's nice to have some, uh, what's the name, a little bit of recognition or whatever. There's nothing necessarily inherently wrong with that, I guess. Um, but, like I said, I mean, that that, you know... But I also feel uh, that it's important to do stuff like this as well. Uh, and as I say, I know it might turn some people off and it might be like, ooh, I'm not watching these videos anymore. Um, uh, at the end of the day, I guess that's the, what you, you know, you take that chance in it, you know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, I just felt it was important because, like I say, watching those videos and I'm thinking about it and I'm thinking like, you know, because that's the other thing as well, even though it might not be directly connected in a in a physical sense or psychological sense, I'm not, well no, there's obviously got to be a psychological connection, um, that a lot of people with psoriasis also have uh, a lot of, um, uh, I wouldn't say necessarily mental health issues, obviously, I'm not saying that, I mean have like, you know, anxiety, depression, uh, um, uh, um, confidence issues and stuff like that, which seems pretty obvious, doesn't it, when you think about it. I mean, it's, right, it's not a nice thing to look at, is it? It's quite... I mean, I was watching some of those videos on there and looking at some of the other people's photographs of themselves and, and photographs of psoriasis and some of much worse than mine sort of thing, even though mine's quite bad at the moment. Um, uh, what, you know, uh, for some of those on there, and, and I'm looking at some people's... what's And even... Because it, and, and, it isn't nice to look at. It isn't. It, it's pretty... You know, it does look pretty gross, to be quite honest. It does, uh, and I, you know, I've got it, and I know, and I've lived with it for the, for the X amount of years, and you know, so that's 
coming from somebody that actually suffers from it. So, and it's not to be disparaging. That it's just a plain, simple truth. For me, at least, I'm not. You know, some people might say or have a different opinion. Fair enough. But uh, you know, sometimes you look at it and it does. It's it's a bit stomach churning at times, uh, and that's just a normal, involuntary reaction. I'm not saying that. You know, uh, and it's not a a, a sort of. Um, it's not a, a judgment on the on the person or anything like that. It's just it is horrible to look at, uh, but that's just the nature of the psoriasis. You know what I mean? So, um, oh, great, typical there. Hello. Hi, Jim. No, she's not with me. She should be at home. tomorrow anyway just pop round so I can pass on the message if you want yeah okay cool no problem mate no problem at all bye bye mate take care bye bye Now my cat's trying to get on the scene. What are you doing, Spot? Right, do I leave that in the video? Or do I edit that out? I have no idea. Then maybe I'll just leave it in there. That was Jim. That was um, Joanne's friend. Uh, just wanted me to relay a message. He can't make one day. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> right, so. Uh, I completely forgot what the heck I was saying. Uh, yeah, I've completely forgot. Lost track now. Maybe I should edit. No, uh, whatever. Yeah, anyway, so psoriasis. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so that's basically why I'm making this video because other people have made videos about their psoriasis and explaining what it is and how it works and all the rest of it and this, that and the other. Um, and it is a pretty horrible thing to have. Uh, I, a lot of the time, I just don't think about it. Uh, especially when I'm out and about, when I'm doing stuff or whatever. When I'm indoors, when I'm in the house, uh, and especially the fact that a lot of the time, especially now it's winter time particularly, that I have the heating on and it gets quite hot in this house. So, um, I... Uh, so... So a lot of the time I'll just wear my shorts around the house. So obviously I, I, I can see it. It's more visual to me then. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and another thing, again, this is a bit gross. So people might not like to, you might want to shut your ears on this one. It's not like terribly, terribly gross. But again, it's all depends on the individual. But um, is picking it, you know, the, the, and it becomes a bit of a habit. Uh, it's like, like picking a scab. Do you know what I mean? When you get a scab and then what's there, I mean, it's just a human, what's there, I, mean, I think, virtually we all do it, don't we? You know, you got a scab and you pick the thing and, and whatever sort of thing. Uh, and with the loose skin, you see, you know, a lot of the time it's just, sometimes it's just falling off anyway. Uh, and, and sometimes you get into the habit, and I'll, I'll, I'll do it absentmindedly, I won't be even, you know, what's there, I'll just be, I'll just rub my knee, you know, what's there, like, you, do, you know, you just, sometimes you just brush your, what's, and, and I'll be there like that, and I'll be, and I'll be actually watching something on YouTube or something like that, and then I'll start picking. I'll start picking what's them, and it'll come off in big chunks of what's them like. And, and it, yeah, I know it's. I'm sorry, I know it's a bit gross. I know, uh, but you know, and and it's just funny because like that in itself sometimes can become quite a habit thing. You know what I mean? To to, to actually pick at it and stuff, and and that's the other thing. You see, it makes a mess everywhere as well. It's like you know when I sweep up in my house, right now house dust. They reckon that. I can't remember what the percentage is, but it's a high percentage that everybody's house, no matter where you live, um, you know, whatever, you, and how clean your house you keep it, um, almost, I think it's, I know it's a high percentage, but I can't remember, so don't quote me on this necessarily, but 
I think it's something like either 90% of house dust is actually dead skin. So because we shed skin, our skin sheds constantly. But like in normal healthy skin, a normal healthy person, your skin cells, it takes 28 days, it takes, yeah, about 28 days for your skin cells to rejuvenate, to, to like the whole of your body shed skin uh, and it does it in a 28 day period sort of thing. So the whole tops, top surface of your skin sheds every 28 days. Uh, it does it on a very slow process and a very gradual process, so you don't really notice it. You don't see it, sort of thing. But my my skin is, and it's in the areas where the where the psoriasis is, is exaggerated. It, it does mine mine does it within three days. Yeah, so mine's accelerated from the twenty eight days to three days. Uh, that's hence why you get this big build up of, of these plaques and one of it. So. Because of that, when I sweep up my house, when I clean my house, uh, it's it's blinking obvious that it's dead skin. Do you know what I mean? It's not just dust, uh, although it's obviously broken down and flaked to 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 what's the name? You know, to very fine powdery sort of what's the name? But you know, uh, and even that is pretty gross. Do you know what I mean? It's, and I have to clean that. I have to clean that almost every day, and it, and it becomes uh, a major pain. To be quite honest, it's and it's depressing, and and you see it, and you know it's it's because of your rising. You feel you feel terrible about it at times. You feel kind of responsible, you know, because it's your body, it's your skin. You know what I mean? It's not something I deliberately chose to have, though. Um, anyway, uh, but all of those things, all of those things add add to it. Do you know what I mean? They all add to the sort of and and also. Something else I think, and I didn't notice this with lots of other people, they spoke about all the other things I've just spoken about and the, the practicalities of it and some people spoke about possible cures for it and homemade remedies and all this lot and I'm not going to do the homemade remedy things. One, I don't really have any necessarily and two, I'm not saying that the medical com community have all the answers because they don't for a start off anyway uh, but I'd put much more uh, belief and emphasis on the medical fraternity than I would on homemade possible remedies. Now, don't get me wrong, again, for some people it might have worked, you know what I mean? They might have come up with some flipping thing, because that's the other thing about psoriasis. I think, unlike, or maybe like similar lots of other illnesses and disease, but I think uniquely with psoriasis um, is that it's such an individual thing. You know, one thing that could work for somebody, like say, you see some of these videos and like the person said, oh, I use lemon juice or something and, da -da -da, and I put all this lemon juice on and the, the day after my psoriasis had gone and that's three years ago and, da -da -da, you know what I mean? And, you know, that might be the case, do you know what I mean? It, but who knows, it might not actually have been the lemon juice. It might have been just that, because like psoriasis is very cyclical. Uh, it does kind of go in cycles. Uh, so you'll have periods where it goes really you know you almost got none at all uh, and then you'll have other periods where it's just mild and then sometimes you'll have a really severe bout of it sort of thing so and it, and it all fluctuates and you, and you know it doesn't depend on the time of year either you know you can't say like oh during the winter it's worse and then well. but again for some people that is the case it's so it's as individual as, as there are human beings on this planet do you know what I mean uh, and that's and that's the thing it's that's another thing I think makes it difficult to treat really because it's so individual to the person you know what works for one person doesn't necessarily work for another uh, uh, anyway so you know again I didn't you know I'm not necessarily going to go into all of those things about you know the different cures or whatever in this that and the other well there isn't an actual cure sorry um, yeah so I completely distracted myself again as usual uh, but yeah so it's um you know it, it it yeah sorry that was it the psychological aspects that's what I was trying to get to um because I think people touched on it slightly people kind of got to it a little bit uh in some of their videos and they they did touch on it slightly but um because again it all depends on the severity as well and sometimes even when you've got psoriasis and then it's at its lowest when you've hardly got any patches anywhere sort of thing uh, and again I, obviously I, I'm talking very from a very personal point of view so therefore 
uh, it's very anecdotal and, and it doesn't necessarily mean that this is the same for every single person that suffers from psoriasis. Uh, I could maybe do a generalisation but even that might not necessarily be right either. Um, but the thing is, psychologically, how I, it, I, um, it's almost like that old saying, it sounds really silly maybe or maybe it's not, but uh, not feeling comfortable in one's own skin. Uh, and this is almost like a literal thing because it's like even though my psoriasis is there at the moment and yes it is fairly bad at the moment it's not as bad as I mean I've had it worse uh, but this is one of the worst ones I've had for a while uh, bouts of it and it's been around it's stayed now like this for a good over a year or more now so I've had it for quite some time this bad um, and uh just in terms of psychologically, it's like, even though I, I, I said before, I most of the time, especially when I'm out and about, when I'm delivering the cake, you know, doing my work or whatever, or what's them interacting with other people outside, I don't necessarily think about it. I come conscious of it now and again, you know, if I catch a glimpse of it or whatever, but overall, my underlying feeling is I, it's a sense of feeling uncomfortable within my skin, it doesn't feel right, it feels, I don't, I can't find a way of articulating this bit because it's really difficult to find a way of, of describing it, um, but it's definitely a psychological thing, it's definitely, I feel less than, I feel, oh, I don't know, I can't, it's really hard to find a, an adjective that can describe it, um, I don't know how to describe it, I don't know how, uh, words will pop into my head and they may, they may, I may hit the nail on the head, I may completely miss the mark as a way of describing how it makes me feel within my own body sort of thing. It's like this, there's a, a, an overall sense that it's there, it's with me, it almost feels like, I don't know, like a, like another, I know that sounds ridiculous, it sounds absolutely ridiculous, but it feels almost like there's another presence with me. I know that sounds completely ludicrous. It sounds ludicrous when I say it out loud. Uh, it sounds absolutely ludicrous, but it's the only way I can... It's the closest I can get to try and describe what it feels like, in the sense that it feels like there's something else there with me that perhaps not necessarily should be there, or normally wouldn't be there, or... I know, that's not making any sense, is it? Um, but that's the best, the closest I can get to explaining what it feels like. There's this sense that there's something there that you don't... I don't want a part of. I don't want it to be a part of me. But it is. I can't get away from it. There's no cure for it. Um, but, yeah. So the psychological aspect of it, it um, can be quite... It can take its toll. Do you know what I mean? It can. Uh, and then the other aspect, which has just reminded me because I'm now scratching. Uh... <laughs> is the itching um, because that is another aspect that again luckily at the moment it's been really good yes obviously now and again little itch here and there or whatever but we all get little itches anyway but believe me when psoriasis I've had bouts of it where when the itching really kicks in oh I, eh, I'm telling you there was I was watching a video just before, like I said, and there's a lot of personal stories around this and stuff and what have you. And there's one guy talking about how he uh, would scrape all his skin before he went to bed at night and then put vinegar on or uh, something else. I forget the other substance he mentioned. Uh, but he would put it and he said he'd rather have his skin burning, the sensation of his skin burning, uh, than the itching. Uh, because at least with the burning he could get to sleep. Uh, and when he was saying that, I, I totally got what he was saying. It sounds extreme, and I'm not sure if I would necessarily do that necessarily. Mm, again, I'm not sure. It depends. Um, but, you know, I totally get it because... And I always joked about this. I always made a bit of a joke out of it. Uh, I use humour a lot as a way of trying to deal with stuff. That's what I do. I'm not saying I'm a comedian. Mm, far from it. Uh, otherwise, I would have probably met, tried to make a career in it. But, obviously, I didn't because uh, I'm probably not very good at it, but still, I like to use humour as a way of dealing with stuff, especially stressful things and whatever sort of thing, so I use humour 
as a way of trying to to alleviate some of that stress and what have you. Uh, anyway, again, I'm kind of going off the what's then, but so uh, as I say, I sometimes used to say this as a uh, in a in a jokey way. I meant it as a bit of a sort of tongue in cheek thing, uh, but you know that there's also an element of truth to it. Because, uh, well, uh, what? Hang on, now that I say that, that makes it sound as though I think this is a good idea to do. I don't, not in any way, shape or form. Um, right, so I used to jokingly say, never mind waterboarding or uh, any other forms of torture that you want to get information from terrorists or whatever and this, that and the other and blah, blah, blah. Forget any of that, yeah? That, forget it. Just give them psoriasis for a couple of weeks and the itchy form of it Oh boy, they'll tell you whatever you want to hear. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm telling you, it is a form of torture. Now, the reason why I said that is to try to give you a sense of just how torturous psoriasis, when it's itching, and it's in its full itching mode, if you like, the, way, the only way I can sort of put it, uh, it, 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 how bad it is. Do you know what I mean? And so my saying that, Obviously, I don't mean it in a reality sense. I don't mean that, yeah, let's let's actually do that as a good idea. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, far from it. I don't believe in torture at all. Anyway, don't think that's a good thing. I do not. That, that's just my what's there and I'm not... You know what I mean? But anyway, so the point is, is that I was just trying to emphasise just how torturous it can be. Because, like I say, I mean, like, luckily I haven't had it itching that bad. For, uh, but I have had it in, in the past like that where you, you scratch and and you get a little bit of alleviation for maybe a couple of seconds but as soon as you stop scratching it, it itches more and then it's not just like it's like you scratch one bit you know, scratch your leg there, so near your knee or something you scratch that, and then next bit, another bit or wrist, that's, you know, and you're scratching there and then you'll scratch here, and then you'll scratch here and, 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 it, and it's just constant and you cannot sleep you, you literally, you try to go to sleep at night and, and that's happening, and you can't you can't sleep because it's just, it's non-stop. And it's, it might sound like a trivial thing. You think, oh, an itch, yeah, I'll scratch an itch here and there. And, you know, what, what's the big deal? Like, you know what I mean? Does, I'm telling you, you, you have it, it to that degree. And that constant, constant itching like that. Oh, man, it's horrible. But luckily, like I said, not had that aspect of it for a good while. Yes, it now and again, little bits here and there. And it gets a little bit itchy at times, but... Nowhere near as bad as I've had it before. Um, but anyway, so I think this video has gone on for at least an hour, and with the phone interruption, probably uh, as it uh, helped that to be a bit longer, uh, and me rambling on as usual. Um, so I just wanted to show you some of it as well. Uh, now, this is another bit of the video that you might not want to watch and you might want to look away, and that's fine, do you know what I mean? But again, I just wanted to show you that now this is this is my psoriasis not at its worst I've had it worse than this uh, but I've also had it a lot less than this uh, so this is one I don't know if it's I wouldn't say it's mild either necessarily I don't think it's mild um, right so let me show you the biggest patch I don't know if I've done a video of this before I can't even remember now to be perfectly honest I don't know if I've shown you this um, because obviously it's not something that you generally think of. Oh, I'll make a video about it. But those videos kind of inspired me to do, to do this, to do, to make the video about it. Because also, I have psoriasis on my face. I've got a mixture of dermatitis and psoriasis on my face. May have mentioned that before. And with my beard, it is aggravating it. Uh, and <sighs> over the last couple of days, I've been wondering whether I should shave it off again because there are times when it gets. It feels so uncomfortable um, because of the psoriasis and the itching and what have you. Uh, and, and I'm not sure because a part of me wants to keep the beard, another part of me is like, yeah, but it's extremely uncomfortable right now. Anyway, so, right, so obviously I've got the elbows, uh, and again, they're not as bad as they have been. Um, so that's that elbow. There's my other elbow. Now, my knee, if you look at my knee, you see, you can see how thick, I don't know if you can tell, but you can probably see how thick the the plaque is on my knee. Um, that's, it's quite thick. It's, it's almost, uh, 
I don't know, about a millimetre thick or something, well maybe not, I don't know exactly, uh, but you can see it's quite a thick patch of of skin, and then obviously on that knee as well, uh, and then the biggest patch I've got, I don't know if you can see this, because I can't quite see what I'm looking at now, um, but I've got a huge patch on my side uh, that goes all the way down, goes down my thigh here, uh, goes all the way down there um, and I've got it on this side as well but the patch isn't as big sorry I can't see what I'm looking at properly um, so there's a psoriasis there as well uh, and obviously on my chest to some degree uh, I've got some patches on my arms as well look so you can see the patches there on my arms so I get on my own light uh, so I've got patches there uh, it's not so much on my knuckles. I used to have it on my hands a little bit, uh, but that they're, they've they're not so bad right now. Uh, there's a little bit of redness on there, as you can see. Uh, so overall, uh, you know, it's not extreme, but it's not mild either necessarily. So um, yeah, so my psoriasis, you know, I would much rather not have it um, I, I, it really gets me down at times uh, but for the most part particularly when I go out and about and I'm doing stuff I don't think about it I just just literally don't think about it um, of course when it comes to summertime and stuff like that um, t-shirts and shorts and what have you uh, yeah I become more self-conscious of it then um, and I will have a tendency not to wear shorts, uh, particularly shorts, um, t-shirts, I will wear t-shirts but again, um, you know, it's like I don't always necessarily like to, to have it on display in, in public necessarily, um, but I don't know, as I get older and as more time passes and so on, I guess I get to the point sometimes where I think, well, do you know what, at the end of the day I don't care, it's really, really hot, I need to get some alleviation from this heat, so therefore I'm going to wear a t-shirt, everybody else is, if somebody looks at my elbows or sees my psoriasis and thinks like, yeah, what the hell, or even makes fun or points, you know, or points fingers or whatever, then that's down to them, that's on them at the end of the day. Uh, yes, I was going to use the word then, but I'm not going to, because like I say, I try not to swear on my videos. Um, but yes, I was going to say F them. Uh, yes, F them, um, because that's their issue at the end of the day. So, anyway, right. Okay, I'm going to leave the video there, because this has got to be an almost an hour video. So, I shall catch you guys later. Uh, and hopefully I'll get out and about soon um, so I'll catch you guys later bye for now